I'm just about to start turn two of my second game of Narvik and you can see there all the losses from uh, turn one. So that's uh, an artillery battalion, uh, an infantry battalion, um, uh, an aircraft squadron and all three of the parachute companies uh, for the German side and on the Norwegian side one um, mountain battalion. So here is what the victory points stand at, 37. Now, um, it was five victory points um, for these three units lost, and uh, they, they were lost did, not from any particular combats, but from you know, uh, landings, uh, faulty landings, etc. And these were lost in combat. I made a terrible mistake there. So these were worth five victory points to the Norwegians. And these are worth 16 victory points if lost, and another 16 if they cannot be withdrawn. Of course, if they are lost, they cannot be withdrawn. So that was 32 victory points straight away just for those three com uh, parish troop companies. That was a terrible mistake. But anyway, so what has happened right up here in Narvik, all six of the... Uh, Lightened um, mountain battalions landed successfully, and you get a half move on after um, sea transit like that. So th they basically move forwards. They've taken um, Narvik. That the, the others came in the city next to it, and or town next to it, and then some move forward here just to sort of block off. You can see this is the end of. Um, Norway, so they've blocked off by those two hexes a choke point there and have units in reserve in Narvik. I've also put this here, they are Germans on this, I think it's on the second turn, they gain a supply unit in uh, Sweden, which you can place, I think, within four hexes of Norway. So it, it should be there coming on the second turn, I think, but it, it doesn't matter, it has no effect otherwise. Um, by the way, that's the end of. This is, these lines are normally rail networks. Historically, the rail network doesn't extend up there. Um, this was built during um, the war period. Um, so no one landed at Trondheim. Then um, what came on here, as you saw, we just lost an infantry battalion and an artillery battalion. So um, the 69th headquarters has come on here with uh, three of its artillery battalions so, um, there and um, we have a uh, an artillery, uh, uh, infantry regiment there they'll be taking those ammunition stores and um, battalion there then on this side um, uh, we have the 214th so the 214th headquarters with lots of stuff there um, some supplies came on here the unit was um, landed by those boat planes there we got uh, another ammunition store will be taken there and then sorry about that um, and then here uh, these junkers successfully landed um, the bold and uh, um, taking of the airbase there so they brought in a battalion with them and uh, there's another unit landed there moved forwards then the uh, landing on this airfield failed that was the air unit you saw that was lost the um, paratroopers landed here they moved up here and then in the Norwegian phase the Norwegians brought up um, some motorized units and the unit that was based here and attacked them now it is one to one odds, so I thought we, the, the paratroopers were going to be okay. One to one odds, you have attacker adverse, no effect, and of course on a six, HX, which is half exchange. So that is actually a great, in this sense, for the attacker at one to one odds, because it's the whoever has the least units or the defender, the least sort of strength or the defender, and they, they were exactly equal with three strength points each. And so the all the parachuters went and then that unit of the um, Norwegians that you saw. So that was terrible. Um, we were hoping for this airfield, this airfield and this airfield. We hoped we would get two, possibly one, and we got one. Um, so that's as it stands for the uh, Germans. 
the Norwegians they get they've got their usual reinforcements here and here, so they've they've moved forwards. Um, there's a reinforcement here, I think. Uh, then they've basically been sent motorized unit from Trondheim uh, down, and then they've used their trucks to send another unit, uh, the artillery there, from Trondheim down. So um, they're keeping so, um, some in Trondheim, but um, sending to reinforce here. Oslo was vacated, um, so we have the headquarters with the machine gun unit there. This headquarters actually has no unit with it, so it's only got one intrinsic combat strength. That moves back. This one moved down from Lillehammer. And then this one moved from here to block the coastal road, so um, we'll either have, the Germans will either have to fight it or move around through the trees, etc. So that will take them a while. So um, this is holding nicely for the Norwegians. Um, then what else? Yes, so we've staged up Messerschmitts and bombers. Uh, so some of those can move up here, some can aid with attacks there. Um, here's the next units to come on, which will be the rest of the 214th once they and three out ammunition supply dumps. So once they come on, all of the 214th division will be on. And as I actually did in my last game, it, it will head that way. Um, that's the first turn. Uh, there's units in Norwegian headquarters. Oh yes, sorry, uh, I didn't mention, so the Allies units that came on, they basically sent all their units from Hatton Airfield. Um, so you've got, I think, three fighters and a motley collection of night bombers and bombers there. So uh, to aid and support. Um, and they then they sent in um, anti-aircraft cover from destroyers here, here. So they can cover one, that one's covering this uh, coastal hex. Covering Bergen itself there, we're covering the airfields again, coastal hex there. Uh, so you know it'd be hard. To, well, there aren't any paratroopers in existence anymore, but you get the picture. Aircraft, anti-aircraft cover, anti-aircraft covers. Christian sent, and then also, this is interdicted, which means no um, naval interdiction, which means there will be no um, possibility to send in uh, to stage. German troops there, the same here. Um, the Germans could try it up, up, up around these ones, but progressively less likely that their folks will get there. So that is the end of the first turn. Um, I'm cautiously happy with the Germans, mainly because we've got all the units in here, so they're going to be able to hold that for quite some time. Um, a terrible blow with the victory points and the paratrooper units. They're very fragile. I still haven't really worked out what to do with them. I think all they're really going to be able to do is um, land somewhere in the air phase, maybe assist combat, and then in exploitation, if you have motorised units, move them up to reinforce. Otherwise, they're just too um, delicate. Maybe they would have been better to hold back as in being... I, mean, I, I remember now the first game, I was hesitant to move them because of their victory point costs if destroyed. Here, I thought I should have used them because I didn't in the last game at that cost. Maybe I should hold them back as a threat. But essentially that means that um, you know, any airfield or supply dump or something within um, a range of their, them being dropped would have to be garrisoned. Um, otherwise they could take it. But I don't have that threat anymore so it's going to make life a bit easier for the Norwegians.